third con is hidden fees hey company so welcome back to the anointed garden where we promote comfort peace love luxury and cleanliness for your temple so what is that oh it's a piece of hair <laughs> i was about to start freaking out so <laughs> because it is comfy season we have our comfy socks i'm just gonna throw those on really quick hey we are going to be talking about five pros and cons of living in a mobile home community so if you don't already know me and my family we moved into a mobile home back in february i did a whole empty house tour and a real life living tour um i'll be sure to link that somewhere and so a lot of you found that interesting and because i didn't know too much about living in a mobile home community i wanted to come on here and help others so if i look down i have my notes <laughs> just so i can stay on topic and give you guys everything you need okay so let's get into it so we're going to start with the pros the pros of living in our mobile home is that we have fewer bills so we don't have gas and the water is included in our rent so it's pretty much at a base level um, then we have a separate bill for our electric, but because, excuse me, because of the size of the um, home, our electric bill is never really, you know, it's not too much. So number two is the amenities that we have in the park. So because we have kids, we wanted some things that they can enjoy. Now we don't have just a boatload of amenities, but we do have a park that they could play at. And we also have a swimming pool, which came in handy during the summer while they were at home because we can go swim, they can do what they do. And I could kind of get a little break. Um, number three, you still have the option to do household activities. So in our community, we're able to have our garden, we have our flower bed, and then you could also like, decorate inside your house outside of your house just like if you were living in a normal neighborhood community number four is people look out for you so because you're all so close together you know you kind of end up bonding with majority of your neighbors they watch your house for you you watch their house they look out for your kids and it's pretty cool and number five is the possibility to purchase your home so <clears throat> if you want to stay in the community you know, you could purchase, well, at least at our community, we could purchase the home that we live in and it would be cheaper than going through our own loan company and purchasing a home somewhere else. Now, that's only if we want to stay in the community. Um, we've been thinking about looking um, into purchasing another mobile home to put on some acreage and when we go through that whole process i'll be sure to bring you guys along but like i said we have the option so we can start the purchase um process the buying process or we can do what they call a lease to own which is pretty cool and um my property manager is also telling me you know because we already live in the property if there's another home that we wanted to move into or purchase and she would kind of just like roll us over so that we can do that um yeah so that's the pros so let's get into the cons with the cons number one even though people look out for you they are nosy okay <laughs> my neighbor he be like oh you took your husband to work today oh your husband drove to work today oh i seen this oh and then like because your houses are like this so this is our house this is my neighbor's house our front door is right here and his door his window to his living so when he looks out his window he could literally see our porch our dick so sometimes when me and my husband are sitting out there he'll start talking to us through the window and i'm like sir <laughs> we are here trying to enjoy the weather please leave us be okay and so another one is whether you rent or you own you have to pay rent so if you're renting with them you pay lot rent plus the rent of the home and then excuse me and then whatever else they add on such as water and things like that if you own you still have to pay lot rent <laughs> because you're using their lot and another one is if the property decides to make any changes, there's nothing you can do. So one of the reasons why we chose this community is because they were using well water and they just um, expanded the community and they're going to be adding more houses and they just switched over to city water. 
oh, I am not happy about that because the city water, when you turn when you turn the water on, if you fill up like a cup of water or something, it smells like chlorine. You fill up the bathtub, the whole bathroom smells like chlorine. Like I wouldn't advise anybody to drink the water. <laughs> like if they make changes, it's like you just have to roll with it and keep going and it kind of sucks it really does um another thing another con is hidden fees so we were told that our um rent would be 1180 right we were thinking that was including water and all that but after they add water sewer trash uh shed i figured the shed would have been already included in the rent the shed like our shed went from 35 dollars to 55 dollars, and we weren't even notified that it went up so the shed and then whatever else they may add so we went from like 1180 to like 12 something right i think it's like high 12s and so that's another thing you want to consider when you go and you're asking about the mobile homes you want to ask them what all is included in your rent what do they add into the rent to come out to your monthly total so yeah those are my pros and cons that i have experienced living in a trailer community if you have anything that you may have experienced please share down below so we can help those people who haven't um lived in a trailer community before who may be thinking about joining a trailer community so i love you guys thank you for visiting anointed garden and keeping me company i'll talk to you guys later bye bye